and scroll up here because at the moment the only code we've got is the code to to download the XML that's that well that's that entire line there this line there oops that line there okay so if you recall we change this code here to be updated later so this is the code that's going to be invoked there on click when we click on the button and when we click on the pass XML button and we're not going to do that immediately we're going to wait till we think that it's been processed so what we need to do is go back to whoops go back to main activity we need to add some code in here now so what we need to do is we need to start the class so we need to instantiate the class so we need to type process sorry pass applications pass equals new pass applications XML data so what we need to do is we need to create a new string here string XML data and we need to write to that to that value and we're going to do that here in the XML code when we've unpost execute when we're finished we've got my XML data we're going to actually save that to a variable called XML data whoops equals my XML data so that's how that value gets updated that's at the end that's when it's successfully downloaded the entire file and of course once we get to this point here we've already got the data so we know that we can pass it now we've at this stage we've only created a new object so again if we go back to pass applications All this does here is initialize the data. It hasn't started the process. We need to do that ourselves. We need to invoke that process. So to do that, we can type um, operation status equals pass dot process. So that will then go through. We've passed the data to it on the line before, and it should then process that data, and hopefully. We're not going to do anything with the operation status yet, but what should happen is that output should hopefully be written to the log file and we should be able to see it. So let's save that. Open that screen up and we're going to run this and see what happens. So I'm going to run that there. I'm going to save it on, uh, run it on my uh, Android virtual device. Okay, give it a sec and we can go into our log. What we might do is clear it out and that should well and truly have given it enough time so we click on pause now okay and you can see that we've got it working okay so we've got three fields here for each one we've got the uh, title the name of the app in other words uh, the artist and also the date so you can see that should have 10 entries there it looks like there's 10 entries have been recorded there so that's good that means that our uh, parsing code is working so the final thing we need to do now is we want to update our screen so we, we can re-show it in this nice little area here because at the moment of course the list view that we added is invisible so we want to add it to there and then show the list view okay so to do that we're going to get back out of logcat and we're into main activity again one of the first things we need to do is we add, need to add another layout because what we need to do is be able to tell the list view how we want to process it what we want the list view to look like so the easiest one of the easiest ways to to do that is we're going to go back to our application object we're going to set up a method called to string now the idea of a to string method is that gives a, a, a textual representation of what the class looks like so whatever we put in here is going to be actually shown in the list view for each record so i'm going to do to string I'm going to return name plus this dot name plus a carriage return so it moves to the next line plus and it will become apparent shortly while we're doing this artist plus this dot artist plus carriage return to go to the next line plus no surprises we're guessing release date
Okay, so all we're doing here is we're returning uh, a string, which essentially is the name, uh, the name heading, and the name and new line, the artist uh, heading, the artist and new line, and the release date uh, heading, release date and new line. So that's it. That's uh, application.java updated. Now if we go back to main activity, and what we need to do, we're going to put if operation status else log.d we're going to put uh, main activity error passing file so we'll just put that message to the log if there's a problem but assuming that it's succeeded that pass.process has successfully uh, worked what we're going to do is we're going to use something called an array adapter so we're going to type this line well, first things first we need to retrieve the list of objects, the list of applications, because we haven't done that yet. So we're going to type array list, array list, application, all apps equals process dot get. Sorry, pars dot get. Applications. So there's our list of applications. You remember we set up that uh, class there in preparation for that. Okay, then we'll just do our command shift O. So the array list is recognized. Now we've, we've got our list of uh, apps at the moment. We're going to type in array adapter application. Oops, I should be going to full screen so you can see this a bit better. Adapter equals new. Array adapter application. So we're, anything in the, the less than and greater than brackets, is with, we're saying specifically the type of object to work with. So, so that Java doesn't need to guess. We're being specific and saying it's, app, it's an application job. We need to pass the parameter of ourself or this, but we need to use main activity because again we're in the onClick method. This. Now we need to do something here with r.layout and we can't do that yet. So I'm going to leave that blank and we're going to come back to that. And then we need to pass all our entries, all apps. So what that's doing is setting it up in a special format so that we can then uh, write that out to the list view. So it does all its magical work and will actually update it all for us. So what we'd then do is do list view. And I set up a list view, what did I call it? List apps, list apps dot set visibility. So we'd want to set it at visible again. So list apps dot visible. Visible, so we want to make it visible again, so we can see it on the screen. And lastly, we don't. We want to type list apps dot set adapter adapter. So essentially, what's happening here with these uh, three lines is we are telling, or we're getting Android to do a lot of the hard work for us. We're getting Android to basically out take all the data that's in the application object one one at a time and to create a an entry in the list view and it all makes sense once you see it but this little bit here with the layout we need to fix that first and what we need to do I'll just save that off we need to go back to the screen and we need to create a new layout so I'm going to go here into uh, layer right click new go down to other Go into Android, Android XML layout file. Okay, the file name we're going to call it. We're going to call it list underscore item. Next. And I'm going to go finish. I'm going to double click list item. I'm going to go to the XML. And I'm going to expand that out. I'm going to change this a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to make it a text view instead of a layout because it's not uh, really a full layout that we need here. And I'll just change the entry down the bottom. I'm going to get rid of vertical 
And the other thing I'm going to add now is I'm going to add a bit of padding and also change the text side of the size of the font. So I'm going to type padding, P A D. And let's make that 10 density pixels. And then text size, let's make that 16 SP. Remember, remember the SP was specifically for fonts, font size. That's a special sort of size for fonts. So that's really all we need to do there. It's just really giving a few instructions to the view uh, on what we want to do, how we want to pad it, and also the, um, the size of the font to use as well. So I'm going to save that off. Now we need to set up a reference to that as well. And I'll show you where to do that back in main activity. Now we should be able to do, now that we've created layout, we should be able to put r dot layout dot and the list item. You can see that's the, what that's the file that I've just created. So we're just saying use that layout for this processing. Okay, that's probably complaining about the type. Correct. So command shift O, control shift O if you're on a, a Windows machine, and that's saved. Now, so that should work. So that should be literally be all we need to do at this point. It should now update. Okay, so let's go back and uh, try and run that and see if it works. We're going to choose our device, click OK, and run it. OK, then we'll just uh, go to our Logcat, and we'll clear that just so we know we started, where we're starting from, and we'll go back and we'll pass it. OK, and you can see now we've actually got a nice little list view, and I can navigate that up, I can drag that up. You can see for each entry now, the name, Obviously, the name title, the, the name of the uh, particular app, uh, the artist title, artist, and release date. So there you go. And that's a nice little scroll view. So that's what this view does. So there you go. That's how we put it together. All right. Well, just before I finish, the other cool thing I wanted to tell you is the way we've developed this, we could uh, we, we can quite literally go back to the Apple uh, web page and have a look at some other feeds. And let's just say it's the top 10 songs. If they've got the same fields and the same format, we should be able to interchange that XML feed and it should work. So let's just go and have a copy link, go into Firefox, and we'll just check whether the data is the same. And if it's the same, we should be able to <coughs> we should be able to literally copy and paste that. Page source and have a look. We've got entry in there, which is good. We've got name, artist, and release date. So the XML is the same, even though the format might be slightly different. And obviously this is uh, music instead of an app. But we should be able to take that same file and go back into our uh, program. Go into our main dot, main activity. Paste that in there. Like so. And save it. So again, it should be songs now and not apps. And then we should be able to run that again. Okay, and I'll just uh, go back into the emulator, pass it, and there you go. You can see because of the way we set up our XML, it's looking for name, artist, and release date. You know, if the XML was different, a little bit different, it doesn't matter as far as it's concerned. Those fields are there. It's going to work. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you got a lot out of it. I'm going to stop the video here now because it's gone on. It's been quite a monster. But that's how you process XML and download files. And it was our first uh, sort of real interface using the list view. So let's move on to the next app.